Libra, hi. So this is going to be a reading for November 18th through the 24th. I'll be taking a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with some cards here from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate with all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. So let's take a look at you, Libra. The overall energy here for the reading is the Six of Pentacles. It only makes sense with you. You just want to balance things out in a situation here. Um, in your recent past, you get the Nine of Swords, the Hangman, and the Wheel of Fortune. God, you were hurting here. And you just wanted things to be done with. This pain that you were going through. This sense of feeling anxious, feeling depressed, and, you know... All of that, you just wanted it to be gone. I feel like you didn't take action for a, quite some time. You were trying to figure out possibly how to escape this feeling of sadness, pain, pretty much, you know. But I do feel like things changed eventually. In your current situation, you get the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. There's communication here, back and forth communication that's kind of driving you here to take action. It's kind of whatever's going on in this communication that's either happening or going to happen, it's going to make you want to move in the direction of this person that's bringing in the communication. <clears throat> either you or them. Uh, in your immediate future, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Tower. Um, yeah, there it is. This connection here. You are taking care of yourself, though. So you learned how to nurture yourself, how to, you know, even in a connection, if it comes up, you would know exactly how much to give, what to give, and things like that. So you're in a perfect place for either being independent or in a relationship here. You've got a lot to give here. You know, but I feel like there is something happening here with this connection. Something's going on and it's going to happen fast. So we'll see what that is. Let's uh, clarify things. Let's do the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there's still, you know, there's need here for you to take action on this um, stable foundation that you have in your mind here, in your heart. Um, there's something, someone that you feel very connected to. You may not be with them. You feel like, you know, this is something that could take you places. You know, this is something that can happen for you. And this person needs to be in your life for the rest of your life, pretty much. That's how I see you thinking about this. And there, there is this need um, here on your part to take action on it, but you are healing from it. So I don't think you're acting on it. I think you are keeping an eye on them, though, you know. Uh, even watching tarot videos is keeping an eye on them. So doesn't have to be like, oh, my God, I'm going to go follow this person and see what. No. Um, so I do feel like you're you're pretty much doing whatever you need to be doing right now, which is, you know, going within and um, trying to figure out a way here to make this work. Um, let's do the Nine of Swords. In your recent past. What the hell?
Yeah, you couldn't understand here. Um, you get the Queen of Cups, the Devil, and the Ten of Swords. What you couldn't wrap your mind around for a very long time was how the hell... You know, how the hell can this connection cause so much pain when you were convinced here that there was love here on both parts, you and your person, and there was. And you couldn't understand how. How... How did I get here? How did I get so uh, defeated by this connection? How did this happen? You know, you couldn't wrap your head ar around it for, for quite some time. Let me do the hangman. Yeah, there's a lot of passion here. In this partnership, I feel like you poured a lot of passion and it, it is looking like you were very determined about uh about making this work this partnership you know um and you did take some time for yourself kind of detaching a little bit energetically from this to figure things out to see if there's anything more that you can do to make this work because i feel like you tried a lot of things here and then you just needed to figure out if, is there anything I can try anymore or should I just wait for it? And I feel like you kind of stood back and just decided to wait and see what happens. Let's do the Wheel of Fortune here. Let's see what changed. Yeah, there was movement here from this person, um, and it made you feel like they were coming to take you out of the cold here, you know, to take you out of this feeling of uh, being abandoned here. Uh, they moved slow. They moved, their actions are so slow that it's like they're not even there. But whatever action or whatever thought or whatever they did that got to you, it was kind of making you feel like, okay, then, you know, they didn't forget about me and, you know, things like that. So you were hanging on to the smallest things here, apparently, to think that this person hasn't forgotten about you. Let me do the Eight of Wands in your current situation. This conversation or whatever this is, is going to be pretty heavy here. It's going to probably cover um, the fact that one of you was considered just an option. Um, I feel like you're going to bring up the fact that, you know, you're, you, what am I to you? Just an option and you can leave me just like that and things like that. Um, because cause it's looking like somebody's walking away from their options here. And I feel like you're going to bring it up um, if you haven't already. You know? So let me see if this Knight of Swords is actually moving towards them. or Because it, what it's looking now is that whatever this conversation is bringing, it's going to make you want to walk away. But let's see. Yeah, you're sad about uh, the two of you possibly not coming together or that you did come together to have this talk. And no more action on your part. You're done with trying here. You're done with, you know, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. You're just going to leave it like that from what I can see here. You tried a lot in the past, but currently... And possibly because of this conversation. And conversation can be at a uh, energetic level. It doesn't have to be in real life. You know, you could have dreams about this person talking to them. And then after that dream, you would be like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You know, so whatever's happening with you too energetically is kind of making you uh, walk away from the situation. So let me clarify the Six of Cups in your immediate future. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, there's going to come a period again, possibly of not hearing anything about, you know, from this person and it's going to create confusion again. It's going to create pain for you because you're not going to know. You're just going to be pretty much blindfolded here. You're not going to know what's going on with this person and it's going to piss you off and you're going to start wondering and then you're going to get all in your head about it and feeling confused, feeling hurt again. Let me see this tower. I feel like you're, you're going to know how to handle that. It's just going to create a little bit of uh, mm, not feeling too good about the situation again. But I feel like you're going to know how to take that on when that comes. Let me do the tower. Yeah, somebody was uh, not being... There's, there's a lack of trust here in this situation, you know, in this... Uh, foundation that you're thinking about here and I feel like that's going away and it, it is going to create stability it's gonna this um energy of unworthiness or not trusting the other person and things like that is even though it's a tower here I feel like this is a process that's gonna take uh, there's probably this uh idea in your head oh my god this is not working out because there's no trust here. So I got to start working on that. You know, somebody's going to have a spark here. You or them. And I feel like whoever does that is going to start working on building up the trust again between the two of you. You know? So things are looking like they're going to eventually... This is taking a lot of time. So don't think it's going to happen tomorrow. But it's looking like they are going in a direction, a good direction here. So there's going to be a lot of bumps in the road, though. So let me pull up some cards here from the universe for you. again you're uh you're thinking about this connection you're thinking about the love that you had you're thinking about a brand new potential here between the two of you and as i said further down the line it's looking like it's gonna happen but until then you're gonna have some ups and downs so <clears throat> um you i feel like what you're doing now is a lot of healing on the situation so right now i feel like you're in a in a pretty good place just be cautious when things are coming up get back to this place you know of feeling stable and hermiting that's always good so libra that's what i have for you i hope it helped and i'll see you next time